Good morning, everyone. My name is Juan Brown, and this is Colton High's very own. We'll be providing you with a variety of updates based upon our school, weather, local stories, and worldwide stories. Please join us for the club and sports meeting segment managed by Tommy Moreno. Tommy? Hello, I'm Tommy with your CHS weekly announcements. Important dates for this week are Cross Club meets Mondays at 3.30 p.m. Email Ms. Garza for more information. Band Book Club meets Mondays at 3 p.m. Email Mrs. Label for more information. Wellness Club meets Tuesdays at 3.30 p.m. Email Mr. Alvarez for more information. AP Honors Biology Club meets Thursdays during lunchtime. Email Mr. C.A.B.A. for more information. Marine Biology Club meets Thursdays at 2.15 p.m. Email Mrs. Pelletier for more information. And don't forget that the Wellness Fair is March 10th and 12th, and you can register online at wellnessfair.org. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy, with club and meeting announcements. Hi, my name is Kimmy, and I'm going to be talking about upcoming senior events. Graduation will be held on May 27th at the Colton High School Stadium, with more details to come once the district makes a final decision on the format of the graduation. Just a little reminder, seniors, all cap and gowns will be distributed from Colton High School on April 29th, and none of them will be distributed individually to our homes. Details will be in our email at the beginning of April. Calling all friends, family, and community to participate in the sponsor senior fundraiser. Banners will range from $39.95 to $49.99, and signs range from $15 to $18. For further info, visit the ASB and Link Crew page. Hi, my name is Crystal Castro, and today I'll be talking about freshman follow-ups, Link Will Link Crew, and the junior class event. Freshman follow-ups did take place this past Wednesday, and they went great. Our next freshman follow-up will be April 7th. Link Will Link Crew is a social hour for students run by students. It is every Monday at 2.15 until 3.15. Within that hour, you do get to meet and talk to others, but you do get to play small little games and learn about one another. Last but not least, the junior class event. The junior class event this year is a scavenger. How the game works is you will start at Fleming Park and you will send a picture of yourself to underscore CHS.22 in order to receive a hint for the next location. If you think you have found the correct location, you will send a picture of yourself in front of it. If it is correct, you will receive a hint for the next location. You will then repeat this process until you have reached the last location. There will be three winners. First place will get a $20 gift card to Chick-fil-A, second place will get a $15 gift card to In-N-Out, and third place will get a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Here's Valerie Rinaldis with your COVID-19 updates. Hi, this is Valerie Rinaldis on COVID updates. So first, the County of San Bernardino is working to ensure that COVID-19 vaccines are being administered in line with state guidance on phases of the vaccine. Workers such as food and agricultural are eligible for vaccines as well as people aged 65 to 74 because they are at higher risk, um, including other essential workers. Although we see an amount of cases dropping, San Bernardino County is still remains in the purple tier. As a result, local restaurants can open for outdoor services and other businesses as well, with modifications among other changes. Even though our county has allowed businesses to open up with restrictions, our school district has decided to remain to online learning for the rest of the school year. For the county to move into the next less restrictive vet level, it will be vital for testing to continue not to just protecting residents from illness, but to reopen our economy and getting residents back to work. If you wish to get tested, Arrowhead Regional Medical Center has drive through testing sites and are open to general public by appointment only. Tests are not charged to patients. To make an appointment, call ARMC Referral Center at 855-422-8029. Remember, Yellow Jackets is to wear your mask, stay home, and stay safe. Next is Tommy with birthday shoutouts. Hello, I'm 
I'm Tommy with the Colton High School Weekly Announcements, and we'd like to wish a happy birthday to the following people. Kayla Garcia, Andrew Olmos, Daniel Aguilar, Giovanni Peck, Nayeli Reyes, Stephanie Mercado, Marcos Benelos, Brian Diego, and Benny Martin. Thank you. Hi guys, Natalie Duncan here. In this week's video, I will be going over this week's weather. So today, it is supposed to be in the high 60s, um, 68 to be present. Tonight, it is supposed to be in the low 40s with clear skies. Tomorrow, the highest is going to be 79, so it's going to be very warm. And the lowest will be 45. Over the weekend on Saturday, it's supposed to be 70, and the lowest will be 40. And on Sunday, it'll be mostly cloudy in the high 60s. And now, I'll pass it off to Isaac Moreno as he goes over this year's annual science fair. Bye. Hi, my name is Isaac Moreno and I am updating you about the annual science and engineering fair. Congratulations to the winners of the 33rd annual science and engineering fair. CJUSD had 53 participants and 50 projects in this year's fair. The sweepstakes winners were Noah Aguas from Cooley Ranch, Shea Torres from Harupa Vista, Giselle Mendez and Priscilla Munoz from Joe Baca Middle School, and Priscilla Rodriguez from Colton High School. All sweepstakes winners won iPad minis courtesy of Coverage One. Good luck to those moving on to the Sims Fair, especially our very own Priscilla Rodriguez from Colton High School. Hello, my name is Emilio Velasquez, and I'm going to be providing you with the staff and the student of the month. So the staff of the month is Mr. Rainey, and for student of the month, we have Skylar Moore. Hello, I'm Mr. Rainey, and I teach English, uh, freshman English, creative writing, school newspaper, and Crimson and Gold yearbook. Hi guys, I'm Skylar Moore. I got student of the month for the month of February. I was voted by my awesome link group advisor, Mr. E. Just wanted to shout him out and say thanks. Now I'm going to pass it on to Crystal for special stories. Hi, my name is Crystal Castro. The special story for this week is about a new tradition starting at Colton High School, Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket. Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket are two seniors who were nominated and elected by their peers and teachers to be the most outstanding students for their senior year. Students and teachers will begin the process by filling out a Google form email with today's video announcements. The form allows people to nominate one senior boy and one senior girl for Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket in an area where the person can say why they had nominated those students. Nominations are due Friday, March 12th, and the top five boy and top five girl seniors who were nominated the most will be placed on the ballot scheduled for April 16th, and the ballot will close April 23rd at 3 p.m. Nominees will have a chance to campaign through social media and the CHVO weekly video announcement. The Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket winners will be announced on the the April 30th announcement and their prize slash recognition plaque will be given to them during senior awards, which is to be announced. Here are the news journalists with the news flash. Hey, Yellow Jackets, take our this or that survey to be entered into a drawing. The top three winners will be sent a gift card to In N Out or Starbucks. This survey is for today, only March 5th. You can access this survey from the Google Form link in your email sent by Mrs. Buskirk or on social media. Good luck! Hi, I'm Erin Revelos and I'm here talking about college updates. So the last day for filling out the FAFSA and GMAC was this Tuesday, March 2nd, so hopefully you were able to complete it on time. If you are currently behind any credits for graduating or you just want to prove your grade for any class, there is a summer school option available where you can earn up to 20 credits that summer. Or you could take any credit recovery classes like Work Experience, Career Express, Credit Recovery, and many more. If money is tight and you need money for college, there are many scholarship opportunities and sources for you. To name a few, there are scholarships.com, unigo.com, FastWeb.com, ScholarshipPoints.com, and many more. Also, AP testing is coming right around the corner and starting on May 3rd. So study as hard as you can to impress the college admissions officers and to possibly save money in the future. 
Don't forget, May 1st is National College Decision Day, where seniors share out where they will be spending the next four years of their future. It's a tough choice to choose where you will go, but make sure that it makes you happy. Now, here's Isaac with our local story. Today's local story is a small one, but a good one. Arrowhead Regional Medical Center in Colton was recently awarded the Quality Leaders Award by the California Association of Public Hospitals because of their efforts during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi, my name is Anisio Arnalis and I'll be giving you information on pickup days for materials. Pickup days for materials will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the Rancho Bus Loading Zone from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. The office will be open Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays by appointment only from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Colton Joint Unified School District Grab and Go Meals will be available Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at any of these schools. Some of the schools are Lincoln Elementary, Jobaca Middle School, Grand Terrace High School, and McKinley Elementary. Make sure you go and pick up any materials you need and don't forget to wear your mask. This has been Colton High's very own. I'm Juan Barone, and on behalf of our team, we are pleased to provide you with weekly accurate news. Thank you and take care, Yellow Jackets.